Eli. Yo, Eli. Can you hear me? Hey, David. How are you? What's going on, brother? Hey. Dude, you didn't email me the, the PDF or the freaking specs of the property. Shit. So let's just, let's just take care of it now. It's all good. I'll, we can do this in freaking two seconds. Can you see my screen? Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's all we got to do. We just got to get a quick page up, man. The landing page. So, so oh, I did one. Uh, if you look at the one. Oh, shit. Uh, I think it's the fourth one. Okay, so then let's um, let's delete the ones that we that that we don't need. So it, it would be just it would just be one actually. Which one is it? Is it? Is I it? Think it's the, so click the three dots on the fourth one. Left, uh, yeah, right here. Click on the little three dots. See, so when you when you go here, it just shows the template, right? But click click on the little three dots and go to edit. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, okay, so let me, and I would put it in a different category, but I'll, I'll show you that part after this. Okay. I mean, I, I spent five hours on this yesterday, thought I couldn't get it done, and I cannot, like, I'm at a point where if you don't help me, it's not going to get done. Oh, no, bro, I got you. Don't even worry. This, yeah, I'll, we'll do this in two minutes. So five, five, four, six, seven, round tree place. Okay, so then what, okay, so I'm going to just walk you through, like, the basics on how I approach a page and, and what I do, what I do first is little random stuff. So what I normally do is when I come into the page, I'll click on settings and I'll just make sure that the tab is labeled correctly, which it probably is, but let me just double check. So SEO parameters, see, so it's not. So if you would have took this page and shared it, the tab would have read that, which came from, you know, the, the previous one that I shared. So five, four, six, seven, that's why. Okay. Yeah. It keeps pulling up the other address. Yeah. Right. Round tree. Um, place unit G. Okay, cool. And then what we can also do just for the hell of it. I mean, it's not really necessary at all, but um, this image, this is, this is the image that would show on social media. So if you took that link and shared it on Facebook or shared it on LinkedIn, there's an image that, that pulls and that's the image. So for now, we could just put, let's just put that image, hit confirm, and we'll just click, click apply. Okay, perfect. So then um, view all 30 photos. Perfect. Look at that, bro. Yeah. See, that's, that's all it is, dude. You, you did it. You did it. That Change you wrote. Text. Yeah, yeah dude, there's the, there's the, the uh, button. Now let's, let's check this button real quick. So we click on that. Hit so I don't edit. know how, like, so when, when it clicks, I don't know, like, what next, like the sequence, like there's no sequence on this campaign. Well, that's what we're going to set up. So we're going to set up an automated email that goes out right away. So this right here, when they click on that button, we can have, we can, we can do many, many things from just the click of a button. But in this case, it's an opt-in form, obviously. So there's an opt-in form. And then if you scroll down, there's just different templates. Um, the one that's there is basic. It's fine, but you can always just choose different templates. There's a Bay, like, or actually, I think that, is that the Bay area? Is that the Bay bridge? That's the Barizona bridge in Brooklyn. Oh, gotcha. Scroll down, scroll down. So there's many different templates. Um, and so this right here, we can change this one. And we'll just change this to, what was it? Five, four, six, seven? Five, four, six, seven, round tree. One word, place. Tree. Okay, cool. So that is that. And then this form, we click on this pencil here. And this form is going to be, is it going to go to this one right here? Five, four, six, seven, round tree. They're and, all named at seven, seven plaza. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. I'll update it right now. <laughs> like, man, you, you're like, so I hopped on the support meeting yesterday, by the way. Mm -hmm. They're all like just pointing out to different resources and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, well, let me like log into my little academy or car traverse. And like, I can't. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, maybe it's login. I can't like let me call. No, no phone, no phone number like that. I can talk to anyone. <laughs> yeah, that that beginning. I was on the very very beginning where where the guy on the left was just walking you through car traverse, but that it's never like that. It's a, it's always a live Q and A where you just ask a question and they'll freaking screen share and walk you through it. 
but it's just sometimes these are nerds, bro. Like these are super, super nerds. Like these are tech guys. This is culture support. So as long as you're just on that call, you're going to learn shit. Like that's, that's just how I learned all this stuff, dude. Like, and there's many, many calls that I've been on. I'm like, dude, these freaking guys are boring. These guys are freaking idiots. Like there's so many times where I'm just talking crap, but at the same time, they know more, way more than I do on this stuff. And all I do is I just try to sit there. I, I really allocate that one hour as investing my hour because dude, landing pages are all we freaking need, bro. That's it. Facebook ad landing page. That's our entire business model. That's it. So we have mm -hmm. to learn this shit. And I'm telling you, it's sure. more easier than you think. So that button is there. So now I'm going to come up here to the green, but the green button, I'm going to save progress. Anytime I do anything, I got to save it. And then I published live. But what we got to do also is change out that image. And then we have to change out this, this copyright at the bottom. So my image, so the copyright, I was going to ask you like, that's your thing, but I can edit that out. Hell yeah, bro. All this stuff is, is, is edited. Yeah. You edit everything. So copyright, I could just put, what do you want me to put Eli Bader or you want me to put compass or what do you want to put? Uh, Eli yeah, Bader. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's okay. Fine. Uh, also, so view all 30 photos and uh, you can go to the title page. Uh, so you see, get instant access to it. Also, I have a 3D like Matterport tour. Awesome. Get instant access to the photos and 3D the tour, tour of okay, this property. Sick. It's sick. It's a link though. Like, I mean, it'll take them to it. So. No, we'll know. email them. We'll email them that link. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to email on that link. And then, so, um, another thing. So I changed the, the background photo. It took me forever to figure it out, but like it, it can't save it for some reason or maybe send can... me, email me the image real quick. Okay. Here, why don't I do this? Uh, what is it, David? At social. Send it to send it to my last name, C A N T E R O. I N C, at Gmail. Quintero I N C at Gmail. Yeah, just do it this one time because I'm already on that email, so I'll just click it right now. But you can always email me on the other on the other email, the one that you always do. Perfect. Let me see. So it's our shared like little photo thing. Um, okay. It's, it's the first image. So it's a shared Google Drive I just sent you. Gotcha. First image to go there. <clears throat> okay. Let me look at this. Also, so, you know, like you told me to post, right? So everyone really looks at my social media. That's how I actually got this listing. So like if it says like, hey, click the button below and there's no button, like how do I just do a post? You can, I mean, as, are you asking like from a technical point or asking like, are you just like asking like kind of out of sarcasm or whatever? Like, are you just. Oh, like, no, no, for, for real, like technical. So like if I post that, that video, mm -hmm. just click below for like info, but like I don't have that. It's only going to be on the ad. So the post itself. Yeah. No, 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 the, no, the post is once we set up this ad, then it'll be there. But if we didn't set up the ad, which we haven't set up the ad, then yeah, it's not there right now. Okay. But, but what once if we, like, we're not paying for the ad anymore, then the button goes away. Very good question. That's why I post it on the page first and then I go run the ad because whenever I do turn that ad off, the button remains on that post forever. Hmm. So you're going to always have that learn more button on that post because it's on your page. The ad okay, was dude. just ran in the background. Now the ad is off, but the learn more button remains. So I essentially got a, Post a thing right now. Yeah, dude, post it, bro. Post it. All right, and and the whole reason what I was trying to, dude. I was trying to get at. I know it's it's super hard through text to understand what the hell we're you know sometimes the you know what we're trying to say. But I was saying it in a way where it's like, dude, no one's gonna see it anyways. Like that's the thing about organic posting. And I just made a video about that yesterday, which will be on my YouTube channel in the next couple of days on how our Facebook business page is a complete, it's worthless. Because when you post organically, no one's seeing it. So it's only that business page is only necessary when you're running Facebook ads, which is what we're going to obviously do. But when you just post organically, man, you don't have to worry about thousands of people seeing it. Hundreds of people ain't even going to see it. Like <clears throat> organic is dead. Like Facebook ain't showing it to no one. So <clears throat> that's why I was just like, dude, just post it for the hell of it right now. No one's going to see it. No one cares. Ain't no one, you know. So 
I just wanted you to do it just to do it. But is it this image right here, this first one? Uh, yeah, the first one for the okay. background. Perfect. So let me, um, perfect. So let me see if I can. <clears throat> one second. Let me make sure it's the right video. I took like 20 takes. <clears throat> video or image? Uh, no, 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 you're, you're good. Sorry. I'm trying to upload on Facebook. Mm, on gotcha. Screen. Gotcha. So let me upload this image. Bam. Looks good, man. What's up? <clears throat> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Let me, so let me say progress. <clears throat> and then again, that blue, we can always change this blue if, if, if that's not the blue we want to rock. But what I always try to do is I try to match that blue with whatever the hell is going on in the background. So may, maybe match it with this blue sky would, would be, would be a little more appealing or we can just leave it like that. No big deal. But what I always do is I, I hit say progress I publish live and then um, if we're adding a domain name to Kartra, then we'll, we'll need our own domain name. But if, but if anything, we can always just use the, the default, <clears throat> the default domain, <clears throat> excuse me, the default URL. But if you did have your own homes by Eli.com, which you probably do, but it's probably forwarding to a different website and that's fine. But let's just say we have our own domain for Kartra then we would click this pencil and then we would hit this drop down and it would be right there. And then it'd be home home by Eli.com. And then what I would do is I would forward forward that right there. Eli, give me one. Or actually I would type that in right there. Give me one second. Hey, Papa. Hi, Papa. What are you doing? Okay. I'm picking up at lunchtime. I'll call you like at 12. I love you. Love you. Bye. Sorry about that, bro. So this will be homesbyeli.com forward slash 5467, right? So now we're able to use your domain for every page inside of Kartra. But if we're going to just do one off, you know, I mean, actually to tell you the truth, no, you should eventually get your own .com for, for Kartra for sure. So just get one, one separate one or should like, because. No, it, it'd be one. It's just one. And we use that one for everything, for every page we create from this, from this day on. Right now, it's not super important at all, but just in the future. Okay. You know, what, be, what, like, what should it sound like? Like, like you do you already have homes by Eli.com? Yeah, but you're right. It's in, in it's, another site. Yes, yeah, forwarding to another site. So why don't you just go with, um, um, well, that that's the thing. We'll have to now be creative and think of something, which is not a it's not our make or break, but just take the take the time to just think of something and 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 let's just get it. And the way you're going to, the way you, you'll do that is so you don't have to spend a fortune. And actually, you know what, what I can also do before I, yeah, so you don't have to, I'll show you how you can get it free. So you don't have to spend, spend a fortune on, on a domain. But in this case, if we're using the default one, that's fine. I can still customize the forward slash. So what I'll do with this one is five, four, six, seven, um, round tree place. And I'll do it like that. So now here goes, I'll click the green one. Now. Here's the link. So I'm going to take this link. What's yeah. that? That's not bad at all. Yeah, dude, not at all, bro. Like, look, I'll, I'll take that link. I can um, now share it. And this is the link we're going to tie to Facebook. So when we run that ad, people click learn more. That's the link they're going to. And let me see if, um, and so when they click on the blue button, thank you for your interest in 5467 Roundtree Place. Bam, send me the details. And so now, as I mentioned with the image, so over here, settings, SEO parameters, the image, that's the social media image. So let me see if it's updated because sometimes Facebook takes a little bit time, a little bit of time to actually register and read, read the actual domain or the URL. But let me see if, if, if they actually, you know what, here's what I'm gonna do now. Here's what I'm gonna do now. Let me go back because now that I have that image, cause I put the, um, I put the compass one, let me change it to the actual property. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to come back, save progress. I'm going to publish live. And, it, and, and that's what I'm saying. This might take a few minutes to, to update, but 
let's just see let's just see what facebook is pulling at this at this moment maybe they're still pulling the compass image but i just wanted to show you what it what i mean so as i post that link see so the image isn't isn't showing just yet but the image will show right there so you got you got the um you got the text that text is right here so if i come over here that text would be right here so if i want to change that text i can change like author i'll put um eli bader because this is what shows in the description on social media if i were to share that link um and so this is just, just this is just the little details bro i mean not that this is crazy crazy important it's just the little details when you go and share that link but in this case we're going to obviously run ads so i mean it ain't a big deal but um yeah the image isn't pulling just yet but it, it will facebook will read it and it will so let's get out of this page and then also here's another thing this plugin um right here that sits at the, sits at the top color pick eyedropper you can google that um and just in, and just install it color pick eyedropper mm -hmm. and that allows me to match the colors so if i want to click on it and i hover over any color I can grab that color, I can grab that code, and then what I normally do is I'll try to match everything else around that color. So if I change this blue to that color, mm. there goes the apply. Now that color is the same color as the top. So, right. okay. and, and I can do the same thing with these little, little check marks over here. I can change that color, but that doesn't look too, too bad. But the color is super, super important because I want to be able to match everything. So now I'm going to, I want to take that same color and match it on the thank you page. I just want to match my pages, you know, with the same color. That's super important. So save progress. Anytime I make any little change, bro, save progress and then publish live. And then now what I can do is I can come back so I can close this. We're good with that page. Let's return a dashboard, hit ex exit. So if I oh, you didn't save, you didn't save something. No, I, I, I saved it. I saved it for sure. So watch, look, this color, this blue button, this blue is going to change. If I refresh this, so now now it, it's it's matching the color above. Mm -hmm. So, and it doesn't really look like it's a crazy so exact match, but it has to be exact match but um, because it's the same color code. But that's that's the basic page, man. And then now what we got to do, so let's let's delete this other one that you're not going to need. So that was, that was round tree. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete this one because here's the thing. Now you have the template. So now we're going to have the, the landing page and the thank you page. That's mm -hmm. one simple funnel. That's one simple template that you're going to be able to use over and over and over and over. And all we got to do now is hit the three dots, hit clone. And now I'll use it again for my next listing. Rather than having to come in here and edit the whole damn thing to fit the next listing, I'm going to just clone it and then just and duplicate it and then just create the next listing after create the next listing from the clone and i can just leave this one in place does that make sense yeah absolutely sorry so, i'm trying to download the 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 video so we, we can post it right now oh uh, perfect perfect so i'm going to delete this top one we don't need that one because you already have that one and then i'm going to delete which one is the thank? So this is a thank you for that page. Okay, perfect. So, um, actually, you know what? I can delete this one too, the Concord. Or do we? Do you need that one, the Concord one? Um, no, I think I was just making duplicates and. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me delete this out. one, and then I'll delete this one. I watched a few YouTube videos because I couldn't get access to the Academy on like Kartra stuff. So I was like, because I don't even know what, like a sequence was. I didn't know like you know campaign from whatever so like i was really getting that stuff down so gotcha bro so this right here five four six seven compass um let's just delete this one okay perfect so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come into this thank you page actually you know what? let's go to the forms real quick and let's just let me update this form um so the form you don't need Let's see the Concord. Do we need Concord or were you just messing around on this one? Um, yeah, I don't need it. I just need the, you know. Yeah, let's delete concrete. this one. And I just I just delete all this shit just so it's, it's not clutter and, and we don't get confused. You know what I mean? 
Okay. So um, delete that one. And yeah, we'll need a form for the calendar and we'll need a form for this listing for this page. So this right here is five, four, six, seven, round tree unit G. Okay, cool. So that, that form is good now. Um, let me make sure it is connected. So again, right here, now, now we're in the form, right? The form is, is this right here. They click the blue button, that's the form. Right. So in Kartra, the way, it's set up, the way I have it set up is just name and email. Let's, let's also ask for a phone number. Now, remember right. I mentioned we don't have to make it required, but at least let's put it there. Just, just let's ask for it just, just in case. So I'm gonna hit new field. Right. And then I'm gonna go to um, the drop down and I'm going to hit phone with country without country code or phone with country code. Let's go phone with country code and then phone number. And we won't do it mandatory. We'll just do it um, optional. And that's how it'll look right there. And, uh, can you edit where it says first name? Can you, can you put first and then add and last name? I, I yes. think I did it in one of the forms yesterday. Oh yeah, for sure. I was like, should we John? Do... Like, I'll never find him ever. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Should we do? Should we do full name? Uh, let's put first, and then put the like and. and then Actually, you know flat. what? Here's here's what I I here's what we're gonna do. Let's hit save real quick, and then let's go um, let's go new field, and we're gonna go last. So we'll put it in a whole new field, last, and um last name first and then and then and then this is going to be mandatory so save and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to um take that up take that up so it goes first last first name or just first what should we do first name or first first name, yeah. okay so we'll leave last name save and then we'll go first name down here first name mandatory that's save okay cool so now now they have their own field so first name last name email country phone um perfect so that's the form so if i hit save save and next and then confirmation this is a single opt-in that means that they only need to opt in one time a double you know what a double opt-in is right uh, yeah, so it's like one question, they, they get something and another another form, like literally right after, right? Yeah, well, well, there's single opt-in and double opt-in. A single opt-in is when you come to a page and you you opt in and then boom, you just have access to whatever the hell you, 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 you requested. A double opt-in is where a person comes here, they opt in, and before they get to the next page, for example, they receive an email that they must confirm. So it's just it's just it's just double double asking them. Do you are you sure you want to be subscribed? Are you sure you want this information? And so it's it's double it's double confirming that that person wants to be on this list. That's a double opt in. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we don't need double opt in. We just need single opt in. And then the success page is the landing page or the thank you page. Excuse me, the confirmation so page. When would I use like a double? In your case, you never will. In my case, I, I, I do um, because as people go to my landing pages, like I'm promoting digital products or I'm promoting, you know, like a course or something like that, or I'm promoting just information, not a listing or anything like this. So for example, if, if the reason why I put double opt-in is because I'm promoting on YouTube, that's where a lot of my traffic comes from is, is YouTube. And when people click on my link to opt in, let's say it's, a, it's, it's information on Facebook advertising, they, they click on my link, they opt in. Like I'll give you a perfect example. Here's, my, here's, here's one of my pages. Um, so they come here. So this link right here, FB ads for beginners. This link is in the, is in the description of my, of my actual you know, YouTube. But even if I was running ads and taking people straight here, it's the same shit. But the reason, the difference is, is that single opt-in, they can come here, they enter their name and email, teach me Facebook ads, and boom, right away they have full access. But what, what, but what happens a lot when you're a marketer is you have people that come here and they'll put in just a fake name or they'll put in a fake email or whatever. Like, you know, th that happens a lot when you're marketing on a mass scale. 
So I don't want to have my list full of a bunch of bullshit emails or a bunch of, you know, hackers or whatever. I want to make sure that that list is solid. And, and so I'll require double opt-in where now, okay, if you're really serious, go confirm that in the email, click the link and confirm to make sure that that email is legit and to make sure that's really your email and to make sure you really want my shit. Cause I don't want my email list full of a bunch of freaking weirdos. Right. That's double opt-in. So that's what I have in this case with, with this page, I have a double opt-in. So now, and, and a double opt-in, a lot of people don't use double opt-ins because a double opt-in would, would make your list smaller. So versus if I had single opt-in, I'd probably have 500 people on my email list, but because I'm requiring a double opt-in and for them to confirm, I may only have 150 people on that list, but guess what? My 150 leads and people on that list are freaking solid. Those are people that actually took the time to confirm that they want my shit. Right. You know what I mean? So, so I go double opt-in in my case, but in your case, you, you're not going to, you don't need double opt-in. So this success page, this is the thank you page. So we're going to go Kartra pages and we're going to go select site. There's no particular site. And then the page, we're taking them to this right here. Con or um, it's, actually, it's actually this Concord 5467, but I'll edit that right now. Mm -hmm. But that's the page. So they opt in and then they go to that second page that's save and next. And then the welcome email or the, yeah, the welcome message. This right here is our first email. So this is where we're going to put in the details of that property. It goes right here. And then this email needs to come from not a Gmail. So hopefully we have another email. Do we have another email? Do we have, do we have a, like a compass email? Yeah, but it's also Gmail. It's also Gmail. Do you have a freaking info at homes by Eli dot com or something like that? <laughs> I have like eight Gmail emails. I have an Outlook that I don't have access to, but yeah. Okay, so then your dot com is it registered? Where where'd you register your dot com? Uh, GoDaddy. Okay, so then we'll need to we'll need to hit up GoDaddy, and so that's a phone call. Put put a note down. Contact GoDaddy later on whenever you have a minute, and just say, hey, I have this dot com. Can you help me and walk me through setting up an email forwarding? So it'll be like a, like homes by Eli at, at homes by Eli.com or something. And whenever anyone emails that it goes to your Gmail. So now we just brand that email, but in this case, it's not even branding. In this case, the system requires that it's, it's an actual really it's, it's a .com email, not a Gmail or a Yahoo. Okay. So okay. in this case, I'll just leave it. Um, I'll just leave it the Karcher one for now because this Gmail one is not gonna, it's not gonna roll. So I'll leave that. But yeah, we gotta get we gotta get a new email, and and it's free. So GoDaddy, don't let them sell you some email freaking system. No, dude, I don't need your email, GoDaddy. I just need you to walk me through how to set up an email for me. Can, can I just go to like Yahoo and create a new email in there? No, not a Yahoo. No, okay. no free ones. Okay. No so Gmail. No. So will it work until? Will it work if we don't have that right now? I'm pretty sure it will because we're now using the Kartra one. Why don't so, we just use that one? Um, yeah, let's 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 yeah, let's. I never used it, but let's let's see let's see where that email goes. You should like, get that email. Whatever you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 test it right now. We'll test it right now. You'll opt into the page and and see if you receive this email. So right okay. here, this is that first email, and so I can go basic and I can just and I can just go text. I can write out that text. Here's the dynamic variables. I always copy the first name and I always use that first name. So I'll use that first name in the title or I'll use that first name in, their, um, in, the, in the body of the email. People love being called by their first name. Now you, in your case, you're dealing with, you know, freaking <clears throat> higher executive type of people, people that are buying expensive property. So maybe, I don't know, call them by their last name. I don't know, but that's how you would, you would call them out by their first name. And, and I'd, I'd just put maybe something like, um, you know, hey, hey, first name. Right, absolutely. I would do the same. Like casual is the way to go. Yeah, casual, bro. Exactly. Your personality, casual. Hey, Jack, here's all the info on 5467 Round Tree. And here's what I also do. Round Tree Place Unit G. Click here to access photos and so this can be a simple link to that link you showed me the other day 
-hmm. right? That could be, and here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll highlight that, I'll bold it, and then I'll simply add that link. That's it, dude. That's it. And then what I can also do, if I want to get even a little bit more fancier, is I'll copy this, I'll cut it, because I already started it, so now let's just cut it. If I want to get fancier, I'll come to advanced, I'll go to design templates, and now I can look at full templates. This is if I want to get fancy. And now Karcher has all these different templates that I can just drag over and use. So I can, can just I change build that it. anytime uh, once we go live or no? What's that? Can I change that once we go live? Like yeah, for sure. Things? Yeah, for sure. Like you could put the picture of the, of, of, like if I click on edit, I can upload a picture of the property. Like I could just deck it out if I want. And if I want to go that fancy and I can even link it, I can link the image, you know, so I can, I can hover over it, click the pencil and put the link. So that link that I'm referring to with all the specs, I can link it right there. They click on the image and boom, they go straight to the, to the listing details. Um, and I can just, I can just use this template and just freaking, you know, customize it to my own. Um, down here, I can link all these little buttons so I can put my Facebook, put my right. Facebook link. So here's your, um, go to Eli. It's this one right here. So I can simply grab your link, click on home, make sure you click on home because you'll see a bunch of different characters here at the top, but I just want this actual link. So I can copy that, bring it over here, paste it in right there. Um, and now that F is tied to my Facebook. I can do the same for that. Um, I can change this 20 and see what I always do is this copyright. I'll always, um, you know, match whatever the hell's on everything else. I want this to match. I don't want one letter to be off. I want to match that. So I'll just grab it from my page and I'll simply put it right there. Um, and then obviously your phone number. So I can get, I can get, you know, creative with it if I wanted to, you know, to use a template, if I don't want to use a template and at the same time, I can delete everything. So I can, I can delete the entire, everything is a section. So I can just delete, I can delete what I don't want. Um, mm -hmm. I can grab the template and then just play around with it and delete what I don't want. Um, or I can simply create my own. So I can go headline, I can go to the very top and I could just grab this headline and I bring it over and I can drop it. And then boom, I can just create my own shit. Um, and then and then text, same thing with text. I can grab the text, different formats of text. I can grab the basic one and just boom, drop it at the bottom. You know, so I can get fancy with it. And then at the same time, what I can do and what I always do, and then the image, the buttons. Here's, here's another thing that I do a lot is I'll grab the button. I'll grab a button. There's different types of button, but I'll just grab the basic one. And then I'll bring it down. I'll drop it. And then what I always do is I'll, I'll put click, I'll put something like click here to schedule call. And then, and then also, as I mentioned, this color, whatever color we're using, I'm going to take the color pick eyedropper. I'm going to hover over it. I'm going to click it. I'm going to get that exact code. And then yeah, bro, you're, you're so good at this. <laughs> I'm gonna, bro, I'm telling you, you are, you will be too. If you just put a little bit of time learning every week, you're, you're going to do this in your, in your freaking sleep. So I'm going to grab that color. I grab the color. I freaking paste it right here. And boom, now I'm matching my color with everything. That's important um, is to match that color with everything. So, and then what I can also do is I can come down here. I can send a test and then I can save it as a template. So now I just have that same template for every email that I put out from this day forward. I can save that template and just, and just, you know, work around it for future emails. So this right here, Let's just, um, and then also here's another thing. So, the, so click here to schedule a call. So I hover over that, this right here. So I scroll down, I go to, I go to my calendars. I right click, I open in a new tab and I want the link to my calendar. So we're going to grab, let's just grab, um, let's delete this one. So let's say this is the calendar right here. So, well, first I have to complete it, but one, and we'll complete it right now. But once it's completed, I just click on the three dots. I get the calendar link and that's the link that I put in the URL. So they click on the button and boom, they go straight to my calendar. 
So in every email, bro, the whole call to action is to click the freaking button, click the link below to schedule a call. Can't wait to talk to you on every email. You know, so as I mentioned in the, in the, in the ad, the call to action is to click learn more. In my emails, the call to action is to click my damn freaking calendar. So gotcha. that's the email. Let's save that real quick and you can, we can play around and edit that uh, here in a bit. But let's go with um, sub subscribe to list, assign tag. We don't need that. Subscribe to list. We'll edit this list. Subscribe to sequence. We don't need a seek. We don't need to set it up there. But the sequence is the autoresponder. So mm -hmm. automatically we set up the first email. They come in. They opt in. They're going to get that first welcome message. That's what we're playing around with right now. But after that welcome message, that's the sequence. So, so email number two and on, you want those to be automated. Those go in your sequence. So what I would do is I would maybe set up maybe, maybe three more emails, three more emails, four more emails, five more emails. It's up to you, but just a handful. Um, because if they, come, if they come here, they opt in they go to your thank you page and they don't schedule an appointment or they receive your first welcome message, the first email, and they don't schedule an appointment. I need to, I need to nurture that list. I need to follow up with them again. I'm going to, I'm going to send them another email tomorrow. Hey, John, I know you inquired yesterday on five, four, six, seven Roundtree. Hey, guess what, man? The property's still in the market. It's not going to last. Hey, click the, and that's, that's an automated email that went out a day later or two days later. So I want a handful of those emails that are set and that's the sequence. So, Save and next, and then the form design, you can leave that the same, and that is done. So now I want to go to my communications. I want to make sure that that list is changed real quick. So it's this one right here. Um, let's get rid of this list, and let's get rid of property ads right. website. <laughs> That's the one I made yesterday. <laughs> okay. So let's get rid of that one. You don't need that one right now, but okay. you're, you're on the right track for sure. And then edit. Let's just take out this and let's rename it round tree place unit G. Thank you for inquiring on this beautiful home. Perfect. So edit. So there's the list. So now let's, and so there's the list and then the sequence would be over here. So this is the email autoresponder. This is our sequence. So in here I can hit the green button and I can name this sequence. So this sequence will be five, four, six, seven, round tree, place, unit, G, unit, G. And then, and then thank you for, what was it? Thank you for your interest. Sure. What, what, what did you put on the, on the first one? What was it on the list? Thank you for. Uh, inquiring about this beautiful yeah, home. Yeah, thank you for inquiring on this beautiful, beautiful home. Okay, B-E-A, B-E-A, B-E-A-U. Okay, thank you for inquiring on this beautiful home. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. So now they opt in, they get that first welcome email right away. And then a day later, we wanna email them again. If they have, and everything is gonna be based on, if they're only gonna get this next email, if they haven't scheduled an appointment, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So if they have not scheduled an appointment, they're going to remain on the sequence in this drip system and they're going to keep getting my emails. Now, again, it just depends on how far you want to go with, with that lead. Um, there's some landing pages inside of my, you know, business where I literally have 20 emails set to go. So if you log, if you opt into any of my pages, you're going to get 20 emails over the next 45 days that I literally sat down, took three hours and wrote them all out. Now that's, I mean, it's time consuming. It's freaking, it's, 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 it's damn near a headache, but at the same time, it's simple and it's one time. So um, if I want to go set them up for like future campaigns and stuff when I have time, where, where do I go on here? So, so, so you would, you would, you would click on sequences let me go back. So in the future, you're going to just, everything is under my communications right here. My communications to the left. This is your list. So that's the list we just set up right here. That's the list. So they opt in this is where you're going to see your lead count. Whoever opts into that page, this is where you're going to see it. And if you want to see them individually, then you can click on that number 
and you can see a li uh, you can see everyone's name and everyone's information in a list. Um, if you click on that number, it's right now it's zero. But if you click on it, then you'll see everyone. Or you can come over here and click on leads, and you'll just see all your leads in every list. So, um, and then the tags, we'll worry about tags later. But the sequence is right here. So the sequences. So here, here, here's this part of communications. The sequences are what we're going to set up real quick. We'll just set up one real quick. But the sequences is, again, the handful of emails that are automated that are set to go out. Let's say, for example, you set up five emails. They opt in. Automatically, they get the welcome message. A day later, they're going to get this one. Let's say this one also consists of a handful of five. So we're going to put five emails in this sequence, for example. Okay. After the fifth email, that lead reached the end. Because you didn't have any more. You just, you just set up five. Five were in the sequence. So right. they reach the end of the sequence. When that happens, and if, the, yeah, when that happens, no big deal. But when that happens, and, and now that person's no longer in that sequence, meaning they're no longer getting your emails, what you can always do is let's say 10 days later, you can come in here and you can hit broadcast. And broadcast is a one-off email. And now you can hit, you can click broadcast and send a one-off email to anyone, to anyone on a list. Now it, it's no, it's no longer about your sequences. It's everything is about the list. Everything is about your list. So I can come over here, click broadcast and send it to everyone who was on that list a month ago. Because, because I'm going to know that those people that are on that list never scheduled an appointment. So, so maybe another property comes up three months later and I have that list. I'm going to hit a broadcast and I'm going to email that list. That's broadcast. So the sequences are, um, are the handful that are going to go out. So here's the sequence. So what we're going to do is we can click on edit and I'm going to click on edit. And so this is where it all happens. What we have to tell the system is the starting rule. What is the starting rule? Who, who's going to get this sequence? Who's going to get this drip? So that's the starting rule. So the people who are going to get this drip are people who fill out this opt-in form. So anyone who fills out five, four, six, seven round tree, they're going to be on this sequence. So I hit save. And now all I got to do is click on this red button, go to send email. And I can also send texts. So if, if, if whoever gave up their phone number in the beginning, I can send them a text as well. So I can, I, and, and it'll be, and, and it'll be an automated one. This is all automated. So, in this case, I'm going to just show you an example of, of send email, but it's the same thing. So I, I take the send email, I drag it right below, I drop it, and this is an email that I can send out right away, or I can wait a number of days or hours. Nice. So that welcome message went out instantly the moment they opted in. This one is going to go out a day later or two days later. You know, like a lot of mine, I'll just send out a day later. And, and again, since it's just a handful, a day later, because this is, this is a hot property. It's a listing like shit. We need to, you know, freaking make a move. So I ain't got time to send you an email every three days. No, dude, I'm going to send you an email every day for the next five days. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. No, yeah. I'm going to play with it and make different sequences for different kind of properties and make yeah, them for sure. general. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's not like property specific. And then what I do in this case is I just leave it by default. By default, every day is covered anytime. And, and really, Kartra, it's, it's, I mean, I don't want to get crazy technical with you, but there, this whole entire system is based on a lot of AI. And so I just let Kartra send out that email whenever they know that that lead is, is on. They base it on when that lead opted in. So a lot of the, yeah, so I just leave it without getting technical, just leave it the way it is right here rather than having to go or between and choose your own time. Um, let it, let the system send it out when it sends it out. It sends it out at the right time. So Got name it. of broadcast, the name of this first email could be, I don't know. It could be simple. First email, actually second email. This is second email because they got the welcome email. So second email, you can name that whatever the hell you want. And then again, this needs to be your domain, your email. What so if we got to just leave it as Kartra? I mean, if that works. Yeah, really we'll find fine. out. We'll find out. We'll oh, find we out. the reply, the reply email, I guess. Well, the reply, that's what I'm saying. It, it has to match. You want it to oh. match actually send from the same email and reply to the same email. So 
We'll try it. We'll, we'll test it. We'll test it. I haven't used a Karcher one, but we'll test it. Okay, so in this case, we're going to tell a system, the recipient, we're going to tell a system, send if they're subscribed to the list. And the reason why this is so important is because sometimes when a person opts into a page, sometimes they'll unsubscribe. Like I do that many times. I'll opt in just to hack people's shit and see what they're up to, and then I'll go and unsubscribe right away. And so if, this, if that happens in, in any of these cases, I don't want that next email going out if they unsubscribed an hour, le an hour later after they subscribed. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so this right here, if they're still subscribed a day later, they're still subscribed to that list. Okay, fine. Send them this email. And it's going to be a single email next. And here is the content. So same thing with the other email. So if I saved that template, I can just come over here and I would have, I could, I could go to advanced and then I would go to design templates. I would go to my templates and that saved template would be right here. I would have clicked right. on it. I would have dragged it dropped it and now my emails are matching and even That's if you don't want to get crazy cool. crazy with the um with the with the crazy templates build one yourself build a simple basic one that's what i do i normally just build the simple basic ones um so again i click on advanced not basic but i'll go to advanced and i'll just build out a basic one and just and just save that so headline whatever the headline drop that um text i can drop that and then even if I want to put, you know, images of the property in the first welcome message, we put a link that's going to go to the, to the, to the, to that page that you have the specs on. But if I wanted to just put my own image in the actual email, there's image. I click on that. I can, I can hover down. I can drop that. And then boom, I can just come to the pencil. I can upload the image to the properties or even multiple images. I can even link it as I mentioned. So if they click on the image, then they go to the actual page of all the specs. Um, and I'll just put that link right there. I can, I can um, take the, change the width of that image or I can make it, you know, whatever size. And then, and then what I always do also is I'll come down to, to um, footers. And this right here is what I try to match for sure on all of mine. So I'll just grab whatever footer and I'll just make sure that I got this at the bottom. Um, there's my social media links. And then I'm going to come back over here, grab this copyright thing. And then I'm going to make sure that it matches. And again, all this stuff is a one-time thing, dude, because once I have my template, then I'm going to just save it and use it over and over and over. Once I have my landing page, I'm going to just clone it and use it over and over and over. So... So what are the types of ads that we'll be running that I, like, which sequences do I need to work on and get ready for those ads? This listing one. Okay. That's it. Just a handful of emails about this property. And, and again, it's all based on getting them to schedule an appointment. Okay. So, so I would just put some text in here and, and just, and just talk to them like you would anyone else, bro. If, if you know, like you, you already know the verbiage, like you already know exactly. Like if, if, if you and I had a list, if, if, if you showed me, a, if you showed me a property today, let's say for example, I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking for a home. You have this listing, you and I, we set an appointment. I go to the property. I take a look at it and I say, you like, this looks cool, man. Okay, cool. I'm going to go talk to my wife and, and I'll, you know, I'll call you in a couple of days. What would you need to tell me the next day? Like, what would you need to tell me? You'd follow up with me. You'd make a phone call. You'll see what I'm up to. You'll see if I spoke to my wife. You'll, you'll follow up. Put that right. in text now in this email. This is our follow-up, these emails. It's either oh going to be that or we're going to – or they give their or they gave up their phone number in the very beginning, and I'm going to be calling your ass every day. But if I ain't calling your ass every day, you're going to hear, with me, you're going to hear from me via email. I and, like and, it. And that's like why it. these handful of emails are, are just, you, it's you, bro. It's your personality. It's, it's freaking the real Eli, you know? And, and again, every single one of them, Hey bro, click the button below, take it straight to my calendar. We can schedule the time. Can't wait to talk to you. You know? And so right here, I'll just put this button right here at the bottom. For example, um, I'll put it right above the footer and then boom, that will go straight to my calendar. Click here to schedule your best call or your click, click, Click here to schedule your private showing or your virtual showing or whatever the hell you're doing now. 
you know, click here and then boom, just link that, put the calendar link right there, match the colors and you're freaking, and you're good. And then again, save, let me go back to save, save it as a template one time and then, and then just use it over and over and over. So I take that color, I bring it over um, here. Let me, let me X this out. Actually, damn it. Let me, um, okay, cool. I think we're good. Actually, no, it's not what I wanted. Okay, grab this color, copy that, X out. You gotta always X out and then boom, there's this new color. Okay, boom. And then just match up these freaking icons and, and, and you're good. And again, in this case, dude, it's a listing. So I don't need to put out 15 more emails. It's maybe just a handful, five emails, you know, and based on what the hell you would tell me in five future follow-up calls, calls, should you, you know, be doing this live? Right. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to hit the back, hit this back and then, <clears throat> and then go back up to dynamic variables, grab their first name, maybe put that in the title again, Jack. Hey Jack. I'll put something like, <clears throat> Hey, <clears throat> Hey Jack. Just wanted to follow up, you know, something, whatever the hell you would say. And then boom, I can, again, I can send as send as a test to make sure it goes through. I can save as a template. And then, so let's hit next. Cause this is the first email, <clears throat> new automation. We don't need that just yet at all. Um, and then, so now I hit next. So now I have that email and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the three dots. I'm going to activate and then I'm going to connect it. Wow. And then I can hit this, this <laughs> top arrange items. And now it's arranged. It's, it's, it's down, you know, now it's, it looks good. And I can just keep going, bro. I can keep going, keep going. And again, so some of my, it's like, it's amazing. You're almost like engineering your own little like program. Right? Here. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. And then, and then, wanna... and then as we, as we take on further more emails, like let's say for example, you know, we set up five emails in the emails in, it, it, I would say maybe an email. Yeah. It could start right here in the edit. What I would do is I would set up. Well, actually, you know what I can do it. I can do it through, through, um, through automations, what I would do, I'd recommend just automations. So for example, here, let me, let me set one up for you real quick. Automations right here. So I'm going to take automations. I'm going to slide it over and I'm going to drop it. So they opt in, they get the welcome message right away. A day later, they're getting this second email. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to also do is I'm going to wait. I can wait. Let's just say I'll wait because a day later they're getting that one. Let's wait one day on the automation. On the one, one day after, so let's go next. One day later, after that second email, the system is going to check if they scheduled an appointment. So that's why we have to set up a tag. We'll set up a tag right now for appointments. So the system, a day later, after they receive that second email, is going to check if the lead reaches this step. Okay, so if they reach that step and they do not so there's just different different um options i can choose but i'm gonna go with lead where's the tag let's go with um lead where is that freaking tag Un assign tag um unsubscribe from list let's go with um where the hell is the tag see we we don't have any tags set up that's why it's not showing me the damn tags right now but i'll, I'll set up the tag and then we'll see it right here Mm -hmm. So it's un so right now it's showing an assigned tag or, or unassigned tag. When we set up the tag, which I'll show you how to do right now, it takes one second. Then it'll say, it'll say has tag or does not have tag. So for example, what I'm going to set up here, if the lead reaches this step, then, then I'm going to go has tag or we'll do has, we'll, we'll put does not have tag. So we'll put then does not have tag and that tag is going to be scheduled an appointment. So if they, if they reach this step, okay. And they don't have the tag after they receive the second email a day later, this isn't going to check. If they do not have the tag scheduled appointment, then send them the third email. Mm -hmm. 
So everything email, so I can have 10 emails in here and it's only going to send it to the people who have not scheduled an appointment. Got it. If they have scheduled an appointment, they don't need to receive email number four, five, and six. They already scheduled an appointment, right? So that's automation. And we got to set up a tag first, and then we can set up the automation based on the tag. Um, so that's, that's the sequence. So, and just to test it, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, change the one day because when they opt in, they're going to get a welcome message right away. That first email is going out right away. This second one, just so we could test it, but you'll come in here and just hit edit. What we'll do is we'll just test it and we'll send this one out two, to, two hours later. Actually, it can go out one hour later. To tell you. Actually, we'll, we'll just go two, give it time. So right away, you're going to get that welcome message. Two hours later, you're going to get this second email. So we're going to do this just to test it, but we'll change that back to one day. Um, so later on, test it. Um, opt into the page and actually shit, we can do it right now. So let me just get out of here, done and exit. That's the sequence. And by the so, way, I have uh, everything open on my screen for posting. Like, you know, I just want kind of to do it with you. Yeah, for sure. For, for the Facebook for the Facebook part, or do we need to complete this part first? We're all we're gonna do is finish this last page, this thank you page. Okay. Actually, and and the thank you for scheduling real quick. So let's let's finish this last page real quick. And all I'm gonna do really is just add the image. So so here's the thing: we want to start categorizing all this in one specific category. So I hit edit, and there's the page name. Here's the category. So that's the category that it came over in, which was my category, shared funnels. But what we want to put it in now in yours is we want to put it in, in listing funnel. Okay. So we hit edit. And then we're going to have to go back into the builder, but we got to, we'll exit out. But now we'll just put each funnel in its own specific category. Um, that way, when you come into my pages, you can just click on listing funnels and just see all the funnels rather than the way it looks now, you're looking at everything. And everything is just your three pages. So, I mean, you don't, you don't have nothing now, but as you start to grow this out, like you don't want to be looking at 50 different pages in many different funnels. You want to be able to categorize it all. So let's, um, so that's the thank you page. So we're going to just return a dashboard since we didn't make any changes. We don't need to save anything. Just return exit. And that is in the, um, th that, that's in the new uh, 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 listing funnel. So this right here. So now I'm going to hit the three dots. Now let's go to the thank you page. Boom. It's already in the listing funnel. So that's perfect. So um, let's take out Concord. So five, four, six round tree place. Thank you page. Um, perfect. So we hit edit and let me just change out that image real quick. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's see if we can maybe even put a different image. Let's see, or we can use the same one, but we can for sure go down, go down all the way to the bottom. You can use like, uh, like the one on the left, or you know, one of the drone shots here. You tell me, bro. They're all they're all pretty uh, cool. Left, left, left side's cool. This one, right there. Yeah. Hey, let, let me use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, go for it, bro. One minute. <clears throat> okay, so I got that. Okay, so now let's edit this image. Background, image selected, upload, bam. Select, confirm. Bam. Okay, thank you for your interest. This right here. Um, All right. Let's see if I can maybe. Uh, okay, undo that part. Okay. So, what we can also do is let's go with this bottom copy. Um, and see, it's all these little details real quick, bro, that, that freaking, like the about us, the contact us, the privacy, like, and then these social media icons down here. Um, 
get this blue real quick. Glad you're, this blue. you're helping so much with this because I, I don't have time today to. to oh, no so problem. But tomorrow I can kind of get in there in the morning and. No, it's all good, man. A couple hours into the design. Let's do that. And then, and then this link is going to be going to, we link it, it's going to a Karcher calendar, link it to a Karcher calendar, which is, which is your calendar, which we have to configure and we have to complete real quick. Then we'll be able to link that. Um, so let's save progress. So all you're going to have to do really, man, later on, if you, if you really want to just speed everything up is just this about us to contact us. I would just, I would just put that to your page. So I'm going to edit this. I would put it to your Facebook page. In fact, shit, let me, I might as well just do it real quick. So <laughs> in the about section right here of your business page. So I would just take this about section here. And if they click on that link to an external URL, and then it's going to be that one right there, open in a new tab, apply. And then I'll do the same thing with contact us. Or you could take them to your, your broker's website. But I mean, this stuff, this little stuff, it don't even matter, dude. Like people, they don't give a shit. Like they're not clicking on that. Like link oh, to no. I mean, I'll, I'll just link all the stuff, save as a template so I can just change like the address and a photo later on. Yeah. Yeah. And then this privacy policy in terms of use. This is, this actually is important. This part, because Facebook, when you run ads, they want your privacy policy on all your shit. So this, um, is important, but all I do and all we got to do is super simple. Just grab compass is one. So compass. So if I go to compass real estate, it's the same privacy policy on all of their pages, no matter what branch or whatever location. So if I just come to their page and scroll to the very bottom, there is their privacy policy right there. So I'm going to grab this. There's their privacy policy. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to link that. Oh, you just literally got to send it to that page. Yeah, bro. For sure. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. And that's, and that's freaking super legit. Um, link to an external URL and then boom, there is that open in a new tab. And then I'm going to do the same thing with their terms of use. Scroll down. There is terms of service right there. So I'll copy that and then I'll go to this one right here, terms of, and I can even change the text since it's terms of service, I'll match it and just go text terms of service. And then I'll link it to an external URL. And there is that open in a new tab. So terms of service. Okay, so, and then I'll link it to external URL <clears throat> and then open in a new tab, perfect, apply. Okay, cool, so now all that is set up. And then these icons, so do that part later, that, that Facebook page, or Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, unless you wanna do it right now. Uh no, the linking, I can, I can go back in and edit. Yeah, go back in and, and link that part. Yeah. What I want to do real quick is finish the calendar. And, and this right here, this video, is that, do we have a video or do we not have a video? This is. Um, the thank you video? Not yet. No, I'll mm -hmm. create it. Hey, let me put you on uh, mute real quick. I got to answer this. No, go for it, bro. Okay, so we edit that, close, return to dashboard. And that is that. Let's go to this real quick. Thank you for scheduling. And we'll just go, thank you for scheduling. Um, okay, so. Let's go with Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to simply look for 
of this real estate logo. And I'm gonna go to images. Let's see if I can go P and G. Oh damn it. Compass real estate logo. PNG. Mm, compass. Damn it, let me go with Okay, let's see if I can just use the one he has. Oh, damn it. All right, I'm back. Bro, do you have a compass logo? Oh, uh, yeah. Send it to me real quick. Is it, is it, it's not on oh, this. Go into, go into compass. Like you were just on Google, I saw you. Yeah, over here, I'm trying to look right for it, here. but it's freaking, um, actually, I guess I can maybe use this one with the white background. We'll go just click black background compass logo. Actually, you know what? Let's see. This That's where was, I got mine. <laughs> let's um. I think this one will look cool. Let me let me try this one real quick. Okay, image selected. Upload image. Okay, cool. And then we select that image. Confirm apply and then i can resize it i can make it bigger yeah let's make it yeah there you go bam compass thank you for scheduling please check your email for confirmation so here's what you gotta do later change out these links all, all you're gonna do is just hover over it and just edit and add your facebook link let me do the facebook one or you know what i could do i could do this part for you dude i just don't want to take your time right now I'll do this shit um, once we're done. So let's open that in a new tab, and then I'll do your other your other icons as well. But then that's it, bro. It's just it was just that um, this calendar. This is the thank you page. So if they schedule or when they schedule their their appointment, they're taken here. Um, so and so your Facebook pixel is going to go on these pages. So on each page. This left-hand column is, is the same. Our pixel goes right here, settings, tracking code, and our pixel is going to go right there. And we're going we're gonna to strategically categorize everything. So anyone who lands on this page is a scheduled appointment. We're going to be able to track that through Facebook. Anyone who comes to this page is a, is, is, is a custom audience of people who landed here. But, the, but then everyone who actually opts in is going to the thank you page. That is what we use for not only a custom audience, but for a custom conversion. Because now what we're going to be doing is no more video views, no engagement, no freaking traffic ad. We're running conversions and everything is based on the thank you page. So they come in here, they opt in, send me the details. And then they come to this thank you page. We're going to put our Facebook pixel on this page. And then we take this URL and create a custom conversion. And then, and then boom, when they click on that button, they're going to go to their cal your calendar. So let me, let me um, finish with this and then whatever else you need, let me know. But this right here was super, super important. Let me finalize this calendar real quick so we can then tie it to everything, to the emails that are going out and tie it to that thank you page. So now if I refresh this. Like as I'm watching everything, it all makes sense. But like if I had to do it right now by myself, there's no way, you know. Oh yeah, so, well, for sure. And I got you, dude. I'll get better. Um, yeah. This exp, this page right here will um, update soon. But now, now I categorized these three. Actually, the two. So if I hit hit all categories, I go to listing funnel, and then boom, there's my listing funnel. Mm -hmm. Right. So I want to be able to categorize everything. So <clears throat> the last thing I need to do on here, and then we're done, is simply. Um, 
finalizing oh, on that video just like a th thank you for like downloading schedule a like phone call or showing with me right simple That's video it. bro hey thank you so much this is eli bader i am the listing agent on five four six seven freaking Roundtree place i just wanted to per personally introduce myself and tell you a little bit more about this property this property is freaking hot in the market blah 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 and then and, and so number one write this down here's all you need to hit on in the video introducing yourself telling them thank you right thank you for inquiring let me tell you a little bit about, about myself without, you know, going into freaking 15 minutes of Eli. It's just literally a few seconds. You know, you're, you're introducing yourself. You're saying, thank you. You're, you're, you're number two. You're telling them a little bit about, about the property. Um, number three, you're telling them to check their email because you just emailed them all the specs. And then number four, you're telling them to click the button below to schedule a call or to schedule a private showing or to schedule your virtual showing or whatever the hell you want to show but that's the fourth call to action is to click the button below. Thank you so much. Check for your emails over the next few days. Cause I got, a, I got some great information that I'll be emailing you. Have a great day. Nice. Simple, short, sweet. But the fact that it's Eli on video, bro, that's what sells. It's you on video. They saw your video on the Facebook ad. They're seeing your video again on the thank you page. And now they're, they're going to be expecting your emails. Okay. And again, in each email, there's a button to click on the calendar to, to schedule a call. So let's finalize this calendar and we are, we're, we're done with this, with all this. Um, but then again, now we got to, we, we just got to match the links, your social media links, um, the social media links in the email and the social media links on the, on the thank you page, um, I'll which do, I can do. Both, yeah. yeah. And that's it. So logo can go right here. Let's change this out real quick. I'll have a new logo for, uh, for my team in like a couple of weeks. Perfect. So right now this, this, this compass one is, is perfect. So I hit save and then the custom marquee. If I want a different image here, I can always put my own image or I can just choose from the default ones that they have. Let's see if there's any ones that match what you're doing. Um, you want to just put this one for now? Yeah, that's fine. This yeah, that's one fine. Here. That's cool. And then welcome to my calendar. In fact, like, let me show you an example of mine. Mine, mine I actually use that same image on mine. So here is um, the logo on the top left, that same image. And then welcome to my calendar. That is this text right here. So we can always change it to whatever. But, um, and then, and then there, there's a title, there's a subtitle. Um, and so there's that text again, I can upload any image. And then what I always have to do is hit save. And then the time zone, let your users select the respective time zone. So when they hit your calendar, they come to your calendar, they'll see this right here. They can hit Pacific time and then they can choose whichever time zone they're in, um, and hit next and then schedule from there. And so that will be based on their schedule, but it'll be based on yours on your end. Um, so how will it like, will it sync up with my calendar? Like what if they schedule a time that I don't have available? It, syn it, it syncs with your Google, with your Gmail. Are you using the Gmail Google? Calendar? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So all we got to do is integrate it. And, and so now every appointment that's scheduled on your Karcher calendar will reflect on your Google calendar. So like, for example, with mine, um, here's my Google calendar over here. Every appointment I schedule through my Karcher calendar. And then once that schedule comes through, it then lands on my Google calendar. Nice. Can we do that after we set up the Facebook ad? Yeah, for sure. So sure. let's, um, so here, here's what we got to figure out real quick. So class title, class description, information on buying and selling real estate, consultation call. I mean, I mean, that's pretty general and pretty basic for, for now. I mean, do you want to just leave it at that for, real, for now? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I can edit it later. Yeah. And then times. This is based on um, military time. So the 1700, and it's also based on Eastern Standard Time. So this 1700, that is freaking, what is that? Um, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's 5, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Actually, that, that's actually 2 p.m. That's 2 p.m. Pacific. Well, you can change the, the hours on top, like you can edit the Eastern. Yes, yeah, so I can come here and I can, yeah. I can do that and I can- you Get all Pacific, yeah. I can do all Pacific. So that would be- um, that time. So what I want to do is I want to change this. Like I could just change it to 20. That's 5 p.m. Pacific. So 
this can always be changed later. You can always play around with this and change this shit later. But for now, let's at least let's at least go with um, 2020. Twenty. Okay, perfect. So that's that's good right there, and then Saturdays as well. Sure. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's just to have it there. I mean, people. I mean, if they schedule, they, I mean, whatever. But this six, this nine a.m. That's freaking six a.m. Pacific. So we don't want you know that early. Maybe maybe allow maybe as early as eight a.m. But can we change that? So when you were setting up the calendar, you put Eastern time. Or you could have put Pacific and it would have been all Pacific hours. Actually, I don't, I don't think it changes it on this end. It just shows yeah. me an example right the here. One be- the one before. So when you were. Oh like, yeah, for sure. Up, the calendar. It, it, you kept it as Eastern. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, for sure. This is the live, this is a live calendar. So as someone comes to my live calendar, yeah, they can choose whichever time zone they want to set it in. Okay. So the times you're editing below are always in Eastern. No way to make it Pacific. Right, right here. Yeah. 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 This right here. This right okay. here, just just the back end, the setup of it. So, but this is a one time thing, and again, you can always change it later. But, um, so that twenty is freaking is Eastern. This this eleven a.m. is Eastern, so that's eight a.m. your time. So again, if I wanted to click that Eastern, then I would just cha- put put in whatever time, and it'll show me in Pacific time. But eleven a.m. Eastern, eight a.m. Pacific. So this part right here, 11 a.m., I'll go 11 a.m. And then that's it. So let's go 11 a.m. And then, and then April, May, I can, I, can, I can choose whichever, you know, date. I, in my case, like in your case, you can, you can leave the whole damn calendar freaking open, but it just depends on how you know how how you're setting your appointments. Like with me, I won't have all these checked. I'll have just freaking if if it's if it's May 29th, we're going into. I mean, it, yeah, it's April. We're going into May. In my in my case, I would just go May first, and I'll, I'll I'll do it to maybe the ninth, because as people come to my calendar, I don't want them freaking scheduling an appointment five months out. You know what I mean? Like I, w- with what I do, it's like I want you to schedule an appointment the very next day. You know what I mean? So, so that's why I don't, I don't have all these options checked, but you, I mean, you can, it's no big deal, whatever. But then again, you can always uncheck um, whatever you don't, whatever you don't want to show. Mm-hmm. Right. So then, so now that's, that's, that's perfect. And then no minimum. And then you can, you can go, you can go um, booking notice. Like don't allow same day. That's my, that's what I don't do. That's why yesterday when you scheduled, there, there was nothing on the calendar yesterday. It's only for today. Cause that's how I set it up. I don't allow same day bookings, but in your case, shit, if someone's interested in a listing now, dude, call me now, schedule a call now. You know what I mean? Right. So you can choose whichever, whatever you want, or you can have no minimum booking appointments. And then um, the calendar is going to be this calendar right here. That's the opt-in form. Um, that they'll fill out because as they come to your calendar and they schedule a call, this right here, they click the green button. This right here is a completely separate form. It's separate than the form that we have on the landing page, right? So now we have to have a form set up over here, which we do. And that's that form right there. So it's a free, free appointment. Um, we'll just come up here, hit save and save a next communications. This is going to come from Actually, um, you could have an email that goes out. So, so this, this, like, for example, on, 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 with my calendar on your end, you receive those confirmations, right? You schedule an appointment, you get an email right away. Right. And then an hour before our call, you get another email. That's this part right here. I like that. So we'll edit that part when you get your actual email. But right now I'll just put no, don't send just so we can, just for the sake of time, I'll put no and then save a next, but you can always go back into that part. Session cancellation, allow the user to cancel if needed. Yes, they, I don't have a problem with that. If they need to cancel, then hey, click the damn button in your email and cancel. Session approval, the session approval is based, I always leave that available and on because if they come to my calendar and there's a time slot that's available, well then shit, it's available, right? I don't need to confirm it on my end if you saw the spot, the spot open, well then shit, schedule. Um, 
and that's what this is session approval do we want to have to manually approve it or no and i just i just i don't want to manually approve it at all don't don't need to customer support don't need that um, automations this is where we connect it to your google calendar so we'll get that part done for sure subscribe to a list what i always do is i subscribe into a list so yes um let's see if we have a list okay so we don't have a list let's just create a new list we'll subscribe these two listing appointments thank you for scheduling <clears throat> thank you for scheduling we we'll just put just put appointments because they might be like buyers too yeah you're right you're right you're right Ske thank you for scheduling what what should we thank you for scheduling a call thank you for scheduling freaking thank you for scheduling a time thank you for scheduling a, t a time and we'll just put appointments Perfect. So now, now everyone who books will obviously go to that list and that's, that's a list you want to start building, you know, because then you can, then you can come into my communications and you can send a broadcast to everyone on that list whenever you want. So we'll save that. We don't need them in a sequence. Um, save a next. Now here's my calendar. So I can hit the edit and I can, so it's, it's homes by Eli.darkcarcher.com forward slash calendar. Um, forward slash freaking book now or um shit the word calendar is already used in there after the fact right after the word no, no this is the link that i can now start sharing with anyone so up here yeah, book now is fine i mean no and, and again like once you yeah book now once you have your custom domain then everything evolves around your custom domain. We'll hit this drop down. We'll see homesbyeli.com. We'll click on that. Then it'll be homesbyeli.com forward slash calendar. Like, okay. like if you notice mine up here, the social real estate agent.com forward slash strategy call. Okay. So you'll be able to do that once we connect your, your or integrate your domain. So for right now, here is your calendar. This is a live link. I can now start putting this wherever the hell I want. I can start booking all my, all my appointments through this calendar. Um, there, go, there goes your little profile picture, consultation call, information on buying and selling real estate, and then boom, this is all based on your calendar schedule. So that's that, and now we're good, bro. We're good. So that, that's, that's the entire setup, man. We're good on everything except for the emails. The emails need to be written, and those social media icons need to be, need to be updated. The social media icons on the thank you page and then the, and, the, and then the social media icons in the actual email because I added a footer. So in that footer, there's those social media icons okay. and that's it. So any questions on this part? Um, no, it makes sense now. I'll probably just, uh, you know, have questions like once I set it all up, get the links and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna for sure. Just like linking the calendar itself. So it actually goes. It puts it on there, you know? Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool, man. Cool. So what's next? 